Alrighty boys, we are back some more West Ham Manager mode. My apologies for the brief hiatus. I was a groomsman in one of my best friend's wedding. That's why we were gone all weekend, but now we're back. It's good to be back. Two games, two games remaining in the schedule. Southampton and Newcastle United, but we're in second place of the league, boys. Second place of the league with 78 points. A plus three goal difference has Chelsea, you know, in the driver's seat. In the first place spot. We need to just pray and hope that they, they lose, they draw, they drop points some way because if they keep winning, that, that, that you know, goal difference is only going to get larger. And we have to make sure that we also, if we win, try to win, you know, with, with, with a big, big margin. You know, with three to four goals, that would help as well because if Chelsea doesn't drop points, we're pretty much done here. They're, they're, they're going to win the championship. So let's just hope, pray that they drop points, draw, lose preferably lose right but it is what it is so guys um i'm not sure if i titled this this episode finale or not but this is almost it's not going to be the last episode because i still want to show you guys a squad report i still want to show you guys stuff like that um but yeah this pretty much is the last episode of the manager mode series with gameplay um, or, or the manager mode series with west ham i should say so anyways right here in the 11th minute look at one yama run over kingsley coleman i mean Come on, man. You're huge. He is a very, very, you know, small dude. You're going to run him over like that. I mean, of course, they're going to whistle away the penalty. That, that, it's obvious. Huge mistake. It is what it is. And Valencia stepping up to the spot. One nil. Yes, sir. 13 minutes into the match. I got a little nervous. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little nervous. He shot at the same direction where the goalkeeper dove. And I don't know how the keeper didn't save it. I mean, I guess the ball had too much force. I guess we did that right, you know, putting enough force into the ball, into the shot that the keeper was unable to reach it in time. So anyways, 18 minutes, pretty much 19 minutes into the match. Osvaldo had a great, great chance right here and he missed an easy, easy goal. 24 minutes, another chance for them. The cross, Rodriguez, the header and they're missing what seems like easy, easy headers, 30 minutes, another chance for Southampton, who is now overwhelmingly attacking us. Oh my goodness, man. They had three chances, three great opportunities back to back to back, and they missed every single one of them. So into we go into locker rooms winning 1-0, two shots, one on target. I mean, I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. I was disgusted with the way we played in the first half. 57th minute, another chance, and Valencia inside the box. Yep, well, you can tell that the left-footed shot is in his thing, is in his forte right here in the 60th minute. And Bolo takes the shot. It goes over the crossbar. Too strong, too strong, man. We're just desperate for more goals right here. Fernando gives the fake shot. Fernando has tons of space. He passes it to him. Bolo, the shot. There it is, baby. That play, I didn't feel like it was going to end up as a goal. It seemed way too easy, though. I mean... It was like a very soft pass. The finish was extreme. I mean, look at that. It's a very, very slow and soft pass. The defense does not react in time. And Mbolo just calmly finishes it. I mean, it was an easy finish for, for Mbolo, especially because he's living a hell of a moment. So there it is, man. 2-0. We're up right here in the 69th minute. Another chance. We could go up 3-0 in Valencia. Valencia misses the sitter. 90th minute, another chance for Valencia to redeem himself. It goes slightly over the crossbar. The ref blows the whistle. We win the match, but only by a score of 2-0, which honestly, it feels like it's not enough because I feel like Chelsea won. Now let's just cross our fingers and hope that Chelsea has dropped points, lose, draw, whatever it may be. So here's the table before they play their next match there there we are in first place but they still have one less game they still have to play their game here it is boys here it is chelsea has played now let's stop the simulation check the result and chelsea chokes chelsea has lost 37 games played they're still in 78 points they choke yes we're in the driver's seat, baby. Last game of the season. Look at that. Chelsea lost, I believe it was to Everton. They lost to someone that they were not supposed to lose to. Oh, man, the beautiful Barclays Premier League where any team could be any team on 
any given night. There it is. We're in the driver's seat and we just we just can't afford to lose them because we're tied in goal difference. 33 goals for each team plus 33 for each team. If we lose and Chelsea wins, they're pretty much the champs. But if we draw, if we win, obviously, that's it. The season is ours. The trophy is ours. Right here in the seventh minute of action, Raul Jimenez testing the keeper. Oof. Tim Crew had no reaction to that shot, but it came extremely close to his post right here in the 15th minute. Mauro Sarate with a great, great back heel pass to Valencia. And Crew just gets his hands on it and sends it uh, to the corner. Oh my goodness, 22 minutes into the match. Raul Jimenez, we are non-stop attacking Newcastle United. They are nervous, baby. We are putting the pressure right here in the 28th minute. Cavanda, Cavanda with a huge mistake. There it is. What we couldn't do, mental lapses, we couldn't lose the ball. We couldn't make mistakes like that. And we do. 1-0 now, we see ourselves down in the scoreboards. Obviously, Newcastle is going to take that goal. It, it, was a, it was a gift from us. It was an easy, easy gift. And now all we have to do is come right back. Huge mistake from Cavanda. Right here, Mauro Sarate. Oh my goodness, Mauro Sarate. And the save from Cruel. Ah, man, we just could not afford to make those mistakes. Right here in the 38th minute, another chance. Great, great opportunity. Nice chance for Giovanni Dos Santos, who is playing for Newcastle United, and he missed out on that great, great opportunity. Mohamed Salah getting past one. Mohamed Salah getting past two, putting the moves on the defender. Mohamed Salah is unstoppable. He gets past the third one. He puts in a great pass to Jesse Rodriguez. Jesse, the shot, the goal, baby. 45th minute trees. Give me some, baby. Let's go, Jesse Rodriguez. After a great, great play. Oof, what a great play from Mohamed Salah. Beating three defenders, then putting in a great, great pass for Jesse Rodriguez, who just hits that ball as strong as he can. Not a chance Tim Crew is going to be able to stop that one. 45th minute cheese for us right before the half. We tie things up. This, this result will get us the championship. This result will win us the trophy. I don't know if, if Chelsea, how they're doing in their match. I'm just going to assume that they're winning. That's all, that's all we're going to do. And I know at halftime we could have checked uh, what the score was. But, you know, we're just going to assume that Chelsea is winning. Just to make it a little more dramatic. Let's just assume that Chelsea is winning right here in the second half. N Newcastle was putting the pressure. They were trying to ruin the party. But we weren't going to allow that to happen. We could live with this draw. We will be champions with this draw. But we needed more than that. We knew we needed more than that. And right here, Raul Jimenez with a great pass. Counter-attack play. Ener Valencia has the championship on his feet. Valencia! There it is! 2-1 to one in the 82nd minute. Killer counter-attack. What a great finish for Ener Valencia. Boys, with this result, eight minutes remaining in the match. I can almost taste it. I can feel it. There it is. The championship is in our hands. It's ours to lose. It's ours to lose. We're so damn close. All we got to do is hang on. We need more. We need more just to make sure. Because you can never be too sure. So in the 86th minute, we were off to the races once again. A killer counter-attack opportunity. Raul Jimenez waiting for Valencia. Valencia is in position. The pass to Valencia. The win. The championship. Back to Jimenez. Ladies and gentlemen. 3-1 to one in the 88th minute. This thing is ours. We are the champions. There it is. Just pure unselfishness from our strikers. Raul Jimenez. Passing it to Valencia for the 2-1. to one. Right here, Valencia returning the favor. Both of them in the match with 15 goals. Boys, the ref blows the whistle. We are the champions. A draw, a win would have done it. And there it is. The season is over. Chelsea somehow, some way loses. Leaves us in the driver's seat. And we take full advantage of it. We were not going to lose. Not, in, not at home. Not in front of our fans. After losing in the Champions League, we owe them something. And this is how we redeem ourselves. Back to...
of bag champions, baby. We have done it. We put all our marbles into the Champions League. We lost to Real Madrid, but thankfully the league was still there for us. It was still a possibility. And here we are, grasping that opportunity. It's been great. It's been great. One more episode left in this series. And then we're done. We're on to another team. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. I've been at war while you haven't been watching. The ball has never stopped rolling for me. The work, the grind has always continued. 